So before we get into actually creating the module file itself, I want to consider why we might want to make something lazy loaded in the first place. Well, at this point in time, it's not absolutely necessary because our application is going to be relatively small, but it's usually a good practice to lazy load pages where possible. So this means that our bundle is smaller and our application is faster. So what I recommend is going over to the pages folder and inside of here, we have a home folder. Let's make a new file called home.module.ts. Inside of here, we can import from at angular slash core and we want to import ng module. We can then use the ng module decorator to create a new angular module and we can create this class named home module. We could alternatively just delete the home folder and recreate it with the Ionic CLI, but I want to show how we could do this from scratch. So the declarations for our module is going to be that home page. And we also need to add some imports and that imports is going to be the Ionic page module. And that comes from Ionic Angular. So don't forget to import that. And we need to put dot for child and pass through that home page. At the same time, we'll need to import that home page from home. So we're essentially saying to Ionic, hey, this page here, which is the home page, is going to be lazy loaded in the future. The final thing to do is add at Ionic page on top of all components. And that comes from Ionic Angular. So by adding this Ionic page decorator on top of our component, we can then lazy load this home page inside of the app.component.ts. And lazy loading is essentially by removing the import statement and saying our root page is actually a string. And we just pass through a string name of the home page. The reason we're doing it like this is not only because it's quicker, but we'll be lazy loading every other page. So we may as well keep this consistent throughout our application. So if we save the file, the final thing that we actually need to do is head over to appmodule.ts. And at this point in time, we're declaring the home page as part of our app module, which would mean that it's getting the code and the bundle for the home page at runtime. And this is not what we want. So in order to separate this from the bundle, we can remove it from both the declarations and entry components. And even though we are loading the home page as a separate bundle, technically when we load our application, it now is lazy loaded like the rest of our other pages will be. So if we run Ionic Lab now, this should open up our application inside of the browser and we should be navigated to the home page. Here we have it, the home page as expected. And what we can do now is add Firebase, Angular Fire, and start building out our application.